So, earlier this year, I shared a video about how to make a Notion dashboard step by step. Now, I've got a confession to make. I got it wrong. Over the past few months, I found myself using the dashboard less and less. And so, I wanted to let you know, but also what you can do about it. At the Make With Notion event in London the other week, I had the pleasure of listening to Notion's co-founder, Ivan Zhao, who shared their mission, which is beautiful tools for your life's work. And this ain't beautiful. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you the top three problems with the previous design, but also three new tips to help you build your own Notion dashboard. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Andy, a real estate investor, Notion ambassador, and Notion consultant. I help people to be more productive and confident using Notion. It's great to have you here and let's get into the video. The first problem with this dashboard is that it has no clear purpose. If we take a quick look, you can see that at the top, we've got some areas for like managerial information. So it's for managing our OKRs and goals. As we scroll down, we've then got taking action. So we've got our projects and tasks. We've also got a highlights area, which is some added complication. And then at the very bottom, we've got references, so access to different information. So rather than landing on this dashboard for one specific purpose, it's very muddled. And the problem with this is that it can become really overwhelming. And also you're having to change how you think about things all the time. For example, are you entering information with the quick actions? Are you entering information on the OKRs? Are you just reviewing them to see how things are progressing? Are you taking action for the day? Are you planning your actions? Are you jumping into projects? What are the highlights and the re the references information is tucked down the bottom. So how do you access that? So if that's the problem, what can we do about it? Well, my first recommendation is that you think about what is the purpose of every page, but also what role are you playing in terms of accessing that page? Maybe you've got a managerial dashboard where it's all about reviewing OKRs and the progress of different projects. Maybe it's a company navigation dashboard and all that's about is discovery. It's helping people to go and get to the actual pages that they need with different links. It may be a task dashboard for employees or for yourself where it's all about just taking action and making progress on projects. Or perhaps it's a departmental knowledge dashboard where you just want to go and review information that other people have found. A great way to improve this is to use Notion's powerful internal links. So either use the at symbol or paste in various links to different pages so that people can quickly jump about between different pages. By the way, I'd love to know if other people have this problem. So hit the like button if you've got pages in your Notion workspace that don't have a clear purpose. The second problem with this dashboard is that there's just far too much information on it. You may have seen some dashboards online where it's just a huge long list of everything on one page and it's just overwhelming and really difficult to use. And even for this dashboard, firstly is a lot of stuff is tucked below the fold. What I mean by that is the fold is currently this bottom line here and it actually originates from newspapers where they used to be folded over before they were put on a shelf and it's used in websites as well. But to see a lot of the information on this dashboard, you have to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. So a lot of it you can't see straight away. And imagine like the dashboard on your car, you want to see everything at a glance in one place rather than having to go and hunt for it. Another problem with this dashboard is that there are various areas where we've got these views, but you have to click on them to find them. So you have to click through, etc., etc., which is fine in certain circumstances. But really, for a dashboard, you're going to want to be able to go and just look at a glance to see the information or to go and access the links that you want uh, really, really easily. So what can we do with this? Well, a few things after you've decided on the purpose for your page, if it's a process, so step one, step two, step three, which you work through in logical order, then that's fine to have a bit of a longer page. However, we're talking about dashboards. And so really try and just look at the very key bits of information that you want in a restricted area, ideally above the fold where you can then go and either click through to more detail or you can just see things in one place. Avoid a lot of linked views and having to click a lot of things because that makes it a lot more difficult to use the dashboard. Go ahead and comment simple in the comments below if you see the benefits of keeping your Notion workspace and pages simple. The third and final problem with this dashboard is that it's not optimized for different devices. 
Now I'm currently on a quite a big external monitor and it works fine with this three column layout and I can see everything really, really nice, but it looks absolutely dreadful on a mobile device. So think about who is gonna be using this dashboard and also what are they going to be using? Now, ideally for a mobile view, you want to have just one column, although two columns does work, but just be mindful of how people will access it and what devices they'll be using since it may really impact on the functionality of the dashboard. Also think about having really, really clear navigation. So although I've got some headings here, it might be worthwhile highlighting or giving them a background color so they stand out a little bit more on mobile and other devices. It can also be really tempting to include loads of columns for your databases, but if you're on mobile, having to scroll through lots of these different columns, etc., can become really unwieldy. So just think also about how databases will appear if accessed on smaller devices. Once you've created your Notion dashboard, you may want to make it look a little bit more aesthetic. So check out this video on the left to learn more about how to do that. Or YouTube thinks that you'll find this video useful too. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.